Hello and welcome back to Hydroset Info. In this video, I will show you how to extend your battery life on Oppo Reno 13FS. Let's begin! The very first thing you need to do is just simply go to the settings, then find and uh, go into display, which should be right in the top, here, display and brightness, and then you want to check three things. The very first one is to have auto brightness option disabled. Second, to have uh, your brightness on a relatively low level. And the third, and it's completely up to you, but I would advise you to switch to dark mode. Um, this is because most screens, especially on the upper phones, are OLED screens, meaning that they require more energy in order to show you white pixels. So, obviously, if you have light mode enabled, then there is a lot more white pixels on your screen than usual, meaning that your phone will, have, will require more power in order to display those pixels, and if you switch it to the dark mode, then it will require less power. The same thing goes with brightness, in order to show you more bright pixels, more bright screen, um, your phone needs to take in more energy in order to do that. So if you lower your brightness, um, then uh, the energy consumption rate will be slower. And this is why I would advise you to switch off auto brightness, because it just randomly tends to, you know, bump it up all the way, meaning that you can't barely see anything. And I know that it's pretty cool to, you know, see your phone, especially if you're going outside or something. However, it will waste a lot of your battery. Anyway, speaking of the OLED, we can leave our display in brightness now and check out our current wallpaper. Um, if you look closely, not only it is a white light, white light, uh, wallpaper uh, with many white colors, but also it's a live wallpaper, like there's this cool animation and the animation itself is looking pretty cool. Like, I do agree that, you know, you can switch it and then things change just like that. And it's whole, this whole thing is animated, which is also pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, however, the problem with this is obviously it also drains a lot more of your battery uh, just to show you this simple wallpaper. So I would advise you to go into the settings. Uh, leave display and brightness, then find uh, the wallpaper and style. Here you want to go to wallpapers and you want to switch to something simple with a simple color palette, especially the, something that is not live, uh, because these, um, these wallpapers here have many colors and also they are live, meaning you know, they are animated, so they require more RAM, they require more battery, they require more anything in order to um, have them displayed on your phone. So I would advise you to switch to something simple. Um, for example, we have uh, not only something simple, but also something dark. So for example, uh, even the simple light and shadow, which has generally less different colors than the live one. I'm going to go with this black one with like, you know, um, a little light coming out of it. So I will hit apply and I will go to both lock screen and home screen. We could like zoom in into something else, for example, we could cheat a little and zoom only to where we have the black screen. Uh, but we don't really, oh, we don't really have to do that. Uh, because this will just be good enough. So now I will hit apply. The changes are being applied. And if we leave, we can see that we now have a different wallpaper. And yes, it doesn't really, is, it is not animated and it's pretty dark. However, if you recall what I said before about OLED screens and that they require more energy in order to display white pixels, uh, then you probably know that using a darker wallpaper, we will generally reduce the battery usage because we don't have as many white pixels on the screen to show you. Um, and the same goes with dark mode, so you know, if you haven't done it yet, I would advise you to go to the settings. And once again, display and brightness, and then dark mode. And now we just have much less white pixels uh, to worry about. The other thing, like leaving the whole uh, screen uh, that drains uh, your battery, is the whole connections you have. Now, the Wi-Fi itself, 
just like you know, every, oh, just like any other service on your phone does drain some battery. It's pretty obvious. Like any, oh, everything drains your battery. However, it's important to note that whenever you're not using your uh, phone, you can just switch off your Wi-Fi, and it will also save a lot of your battery, and maybe it will save a lot more than you think because um, obviously. If you don't have uh, these services on, uh, then <laughs> the services won't need to work in the background. And you know, uh, drain all your battery, connect, uh, refresh the, all the pages, etc. etc. Uh, so, if you're not using your Wi Fi, I would advise you to just switch the Wi Fi off. And the same goes with mobile data, uh, because mobile data is wasting a lot more of your battery, um, a lot more than the Wi Fi itself. So, I would advise you to, like, if you're using a mobile data, you want to go to your Wi-Fi and uh, let's go to the more maybe. Let's go to our current uh, thing here. Um, we have the ability to set auto connect on, meaning that, you know, whenever you are in the range, it will automatically switch from using our mobile data to using the Wi-Fi instead. So even though Wi-Fi also tends to waste a lot of your battery, um, it's not really a waste, you know, it's just using it to sustain itself. However, the ability to automatically switch off your mobile data is pretty cool, especially that many people just forget about it and, you know, they have your, their phone running in the background using mobile data all the time, meaning that their battery is, uh, well, really, really in bad shape. Uh, however, if you don't remember those, also the same thing goes for Bluetooth, obviously. And the same thing goes with every other um, wireless connection. And the easiest way to just disable all the wireless collections are, is just to expand your control center and enable airplane mode. Because airplane mode will automatically disable everything, like every Wi-Fi, every mobile data, every single thing, every single thing. Um, that is a wireless connection and that's uh, that's using your battery will be turned off meaning that overall you will save a lot of your battery which is also pretty cool though I'm going to leave it so our Wi-Fi uh, can work and speaking of things that work in the background we have permissions and most important we have a location location can be found right here in the control center we can just disable it and we'll have a warning that some applications uh, especially the one that you know um, take care of the lose uh, of uh, ability to find your phone after you uh, lost it will be turned off, and it's a fact. I know if you are worried that you will lose your phone easily, I would advise you to just keep it on because it might be problematic. Like uh, I can disagree with that. However, uh, having a location enabled all the time still wastes a lot of your battery because. A location is the thing that's well don't don't quote me on that but I think it wastes a lot more battery than for example Wi-Fi because it has to connect um, to the web uh, it has to locate yourself in the world and then it wants to upload uh, the data uh, into the web and if you're running a lot if you're moving a lot then it will have to refresh this location each and every time uh, if you don't want to disable location uh, on its own, like completely, we could go to the settings. Uh, I'm going to switch for light mode so you can uh, see better. Uh, then you could scroll down a little, go to security and privacy, scroll all the way down, go to privacy controls and permission manager. In here we have a list of all our permissions, so obviously we want to find location. And now we can see which applications are using location all the time. Currently it's Google. And generally I would not advise you to take this from Google. Uh, maybe if you're not trusting them or whatever. Because as you can see if we try to uh, basically don't allow it. Then we'll have a warning that some Google services might not work. Which is also pretty understandable. Uh, like you know it's, <laughs> it's pretty obvious that uh, for example Google Maps won't work. Uh, but still, uh, having your location disabled here and, for example, yeah, let's just hit close so we have it uh, disabled. And if we go and find uh, Google Maps, then the Google Maps will automatically, well, it should automatically turn off, turn on 
your location in order to um, use use your phone or there should be like a warning that hey if you want to use for example my location uh, because maps are general don't really need that uh, unless you want to for example go here and set your own location um, for like uh, take me to the nearest shopping mall from my location then it will require your location to work so it will ask you hey can I uh, enable your location meaning that overall you will still be able to use all kinds of applications that require this permission um, but it won't necessarily work in the background all the time lastly like the last and probably most important tip that maybe I should start with is to just be aware how much your powers uh, how much power your applications are using we can easily check that if we go to the settings and then we want to leave the whole privacy controls and we want to simply go to the battery and then we can see the battery usage right here so we can click it in order to show us more information i think no so we can only check the graph uh, but basically we have the ability to find everything and this list is probably the most important list uh, that you can have because it will show you that hey this application is wasting a lot more battery than the others and if you find uh, such a location such an application for example we have our camera now i'm guessing that the camera has been on for quite a long time but let's say we had a facebook here you know we don't really have a facebook here but let's say we we did and meaning that maybe my facebook is wasting a lot of my battery it is possible so we can click it and then we want to for example go and press for snap or we can go to applications uh, app management we want to find this application that wastes out of our battery for example the facebook now we can go to battery usage and we can uh, and disable the allow background activity and you can also click here in order to optimize the battery use which is also pretty interesting and the last resort option is to just uninstall the applications uh, that are wasting out of your battery for example any kind of games any kind of big social media apps uh, especially like TikTok, which has to refresh your content every second um, it will connect so it will waste a lot of your data and uh, with that comes a waste of all your battery but anyway i think it's all for this video if you found it useful please remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching